Hi guys, it's Lego JPW, and I'm gonna be uh, talking about the Beats by Dre headphones from Monster, um, and some of the hype that's go been going on about them, their real history, um, and my opinion of them personally, and pretty much their over an overall review of the Beats by Dre headphones. So let's start. Um, Usually, why you buy headphones is because you want something better than earbuds. You're tired of listening to your music on weak earbuds that get tangled up so easily and uh, just really, really don't do the job. Especially if you're, you're a music lover like me. You want to hear your music the best you can, as loud as you can, without going deaf. So... Uh, Dr. Dre came out with his Beats by Dre headphones, originally the studios, I believe, were the first ones. Big hit because of the celebrity endorsement. Um, Monster pays celebrities, pays paid celebrities to uh, wear the headphones in public at concerts just for endorsement. And I know <clears throat> that several celebrities have said, you know, I prefer stuff by Sony or um, SMS or Ludacris by Soul, and I actually think all three of those, way better headphones, because they have better sound quality, <clears throat> uh, they are not as expensive as the Beats, and, you know... You know, yeah, beats do feel really good on your ears. Everybody has them. But don't be the kid who buys them just for their looks and inside says, you know, I hate these headphones. I hate myself for buying these. They are not worth $300. They are not worth $200. They are not worth $100. And also a thing I'd like to talk about is that <clears throat> if you are looking for a good pair of decent decent quality headphones like I am and still searching for you know that specific style that you have you know if you're looking for something like Beats you know maybe check out iFrogs those are pretty good um, they are kinda tacky you know but they're they're something and then also, also be sure to check out Ludacris SMS and Sony and all those other big name products because you know those guys are the ones who really nailed it with headphones they have great wonderful awesome um sound quality way better than the beats because beats were really specifically made just for those deep tones in dr dre's music so they're specifically made for hip-hop rap music so if you're one of those guys who occasionally listens to one or two Eminem songs and then the rest is all like Big Time Rush, Katy Perry or One Direction Justin Bieber and you know I don't listen to them I'm just naming off stuff here uh, and Bon Jovi, ACDC you know any and every type of music you know beats aren't your headphone because they're specifically made for rap music and they are <clears throat> passive, or no, they're active noise canceling, which means that the Beats headphones, uh, at least the studios, um, you know, they just aren't worth it. And what I mean by that is, the active noise canceling, when you listen to music, you can hear a distant bu buzzing sound, and it's supposed to block out the outside noise but it uses batteries, they're battery powered, so since they're not passive noise canceling, you can't just plug them into your iPod and it'll, they'll immediately start playing. I mean, if the battery dies out on your beats, you know, you're screwed. You can't listen to music. Unless you had a second pair of headphones, you can't listen to music. So, that's the thing about beats. Also, the backstory is a complete and utter lie. The backstory on the website, the history of Beats, is that Dr. Dre was tired of his fans listening to his tracks 
on weak distorted earbuds and headphones so he created the beats by dre headphones with with great quality mids lows and highs lie 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 after lie uh no not true here's how it really happened dr dre was backstage at some concert um or something and he <laughs> He was coming out with a line of sneakers that he was endorsing for some money, right? And this guy came up to him and said, uh, Man, what are you doing? He, and this is actually a famous line. He said, um, and I'm just going to improvise for the cuss word, Fudge the sneakers, let's build speakers. And that's how it all started. That is how it all started so it is by chance that the beats are here today they're over so overall my rating um overall i'd say you know three and you know don't get headphones if there are three get them if they're like eights at least eight out of ten i gave them a three at highest probably lower you know if you can't afford them you know stick with these St it, honestly these are better than beats honestly because they have better sound quality they may not be headphones but you're not going to regret spending three hundred dollars on pieces of poop that you bought from monster uh and one more thing about the and actually no and if you are looking to buy some stylish yet good quality sound headphones, check out Ludacris, uh, check out Sony, uh, go check out SMS. Those are all great stylish brands. Go check out Best Buy and just type in, um, just type in the uh, headphones, you know, and these, a bunch of these things will pop up. Just write down a bunch of brands and they, just if you're looking for a certain style, which I am, you know, just keep on looking because there's a style out there for you. I guarantee it. So this has been Beats by Dre uh, headphones review with LEGO JPW, and I hope to see you guys later. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.